most black people in America, and most uh, pe people period in America, or even in the world, because there's other people watching this, we probably know two films that have like black people in it, in, in Brazil. Sadaji de Jales yeah. and Orfeo. Yeah. I think those are the main two films that most people have probably seen. Yeah. Outside of that, and I've, I've been watching a lot of black, just a lot of film in Brazil. I'm not really seeing a lot of black people in film in Brazil. No. Um, and I've actually, I've come to learn in the last couple of years that the film industry is actually supported by the government. Yeah. So explain to me how Brazil can, ha can be more than 50% black, but the representation of black people in film in front and behind the camera is not there. I mean, what do you think? Is it that, what do you think about the diversity? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, problematic because, um, yeah, this is it. Um, and I, I like the fact that you started talking about uh, the two most iconic Brazilian films. Actually, they're probably the most iconic films, period. Yeah, period. I'm not even calling them black films. They're just yeah, iconic yeah, films. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you like it or if you, doesn't like, if you don't like the films. But uh, the fact is, these are the two most iconic Brazilian films ever. And they, both of them, have a huge black representation mm -hmm. in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And what does it mean? Um, if you go outside Brazil, people we will talk about the films and then people we will think that Brazil, lots of black people, mixed people and so on. Nobody think uh, about Brazil as being a white country, mm -mm. you know, like, oh, hey, look, uh, you know, blonde people, Brazil. No, we know. So what does it, what does it mean? It mean, it means that, um, uh, Films, cinema, uh, it's a very important thing for a country because when you, when you make a film, you are showing uh, your country, you show your, cu your culture, uh, you're showing how people used to be, you show, you know, all the, all the things regarding a culture. So you can know a little bit of a culture mm -hmm. uh, seeing films. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of other films producing the last years with public money mm -hmm. are being um, are being represented by white people. Mm -hmm. I mean, in is front like, and behind. In front and behind, and uh, kind of uh, white supremacy mm -hmm. in cinema and audiovisual, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A 2014 study called "The Face of Brazilian Cinema" showed its extreme lack of diversity. The study analyzed the demographics of 218 Brazilian films that were released commercially between 2002 and 2012. First of all, let's not forget that more than 50% of Brazil is black and mixed race. This study found that 80% of the leading roles went to white actors and white actresses, and only 4% went to black actresses. Black screenwriters made up only 4% of the 412 screenwriters there were no black women. The diversity of the 226 film directors was even worse. 84% of the directors were white men, 13% were white women, and just 2% were black, all men. There were no black women directors. This shows that in Brazil, the diversity in front and behind the camera is appalling, and black women are underrepresented the most. All the tax we pay mm -hmm. in this country uh, go somehow to the, the, the film funds. So the producers have their, the, their project selected mm -hmm. and they receive money from these funds, tax money, mm -hmm. you know, from the, the majority of people, mm -hmm. I mean, from black people. So we are, yes. we are paying for films that don't represent, that don't represent us. In the last couple of years, what have you done to convince, like the Brazilian filmmaker? It's called Ancini. 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 Agência Nacional de Cinema. So this is the national organization that basically supports funds films in Brazil. What What have you done and other people to convince them, like, hey, we need 
you need to fund more diverse films. What did you What did you guys do? Yeah. Because you guys actually succeeded. What did you do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, not to, not only me, I'm but uh, all, you. everybody. <laughs> yes. We were. I mean, as I am a filmmaker, and as as I am. Um, space in the media to talk about my films and myself and blah 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 mm -hmm. i always use this opportunity to talk about this to the about the fact that we are not represented mm -hmm. on, on on films on media in general mm -hmm. and 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 to talk about this we are talking about i mean we are paying for to have uh, a white and super massive uh audiovisual with the data in hand, you guys can basically yeah. demand what you wanted. You yeah. wanted more representation. Yeah, yeah. It changed when we had the data. 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 Mm -hmm. Data. Yeah. Yes. Of of the black people who are directing films that include black people, I I I, I have the feeling that it's majority black women. Or is that? Am I wrong? That it's the of the black people who have embraced filmmaking. It's majority black women or am i just no i just feel like it's mainly black women i don't know or do i know there is a new wave now i mm -hmm. mean since uh, like let's see 2015 since, <laughs> no since the last eight years many black girls are coming and study films and make films and so okay. uh, but all of us make only short films or medium length films you know mm -hmm. we don't have yet the chance to direct a feature film mm -hmm. that go to the theaters mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. this is the difference because mm -hmm. when you when you make a feature film and when your film is uh, being um, screened at the theaters mm -hmm. it's another level and mm -hmm. we are talking about this level how long do you think it's going to take before we see a lot more um black people making films in brazil like how long is this gonna be? Feature films. Yes, feature films. Ah, feature, feature films. films. I'm feature sorry. Films. Feature films. Feature films. <laughs> we have some few black male directors. Okay. Like Jefferson Day, like uh, Joel Zito Araújo, mm -hmm. for example. They had already. They have been making, making feature films. Feature films, but we have only one black woman uh, until nowadays who had a feature film on the theaters mm -hmm. like 40, over 40, 40 years ago yeah, it was Adelia uh, Sampaio mm -hmm. and afterwards we didn't have yet now we are going in this direction I I hope that my film will be finished next year mm -hmm. uh, I hope the films of the other girls will be finished next year because I know I'm not the only one who has uh, a feature film project mm -hmm. um, I mean, the other black females, female filmmakers are working on it too. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be, this situation will change very soon, very soon.